Happy season greetings everyone, Reese here, and here to proudly present to you our third installment of our all new Christmas trick videos. In this one here, I'm going to show you 16 tricks that you could do this Christmas. So then if you do, let's get to them right now. From here now, we're going to read off our first trick on our season greetings list. And that is the season greetings small gift brooch trick gag. Here is the performance of what this one will look like. Now, let's dim the lights for this one. Okay, so you can see here, I got my little, my little bros here. Gonna actually just do something pretty magical with this. Watch. And make it flash with the Christmas, with the Christmas lights. That's that, let's turn on light. You can see it flashing again. So how did I get this to do this? This is I'm about to reveal the secret. What are you going to need to make this happen? Right in my pocket, I pull out the labeling. Now is what you'll see here is a Santa secret flashing light brooch that you'll see just right here. And that is what you'll see right here flashing away. Okay, so here is the ins and the outs. So it has all these built on the inside. Here's the boat buckle here. You're gonna pin onto your jacket or shirt that you see just right here. And you can see there's little LED um, bulbs right inside of here, as you can see just right here. The switch is in the back just right here. To make this magical, you're gonna use your thumb. At the, at the ready, hold your hands over it, flick it, and just do this. And by magic, giving a Christmas light show from the little gift brooch that you'll see just here. And to end off, being into the shade. And showing the light show. Because of this, I'm going to leave this on flashing with the remainder of the video. Now it's that, it also eliminates the list. Santa's list. What's on that Santa's list for our next one? As it is, here comes our second trick. And that is the Magic Merry Frosty Brooch trick. Here's what this one will look like. So you can see my little Frosty here. I just think you can see there's little arms. And by magic, it sprouts arms and it gives you the season green wave. The big Christmas wave. So how do I do this? As it is, I'm about to reveal the secret. Okay, all you need is this Frosty brooch that you'll see just here. It has these little wires that can easily spring like that and allows it to wobble. Making it to a wave. What I just want to do is going to place this in the back of it, just like this. Make sure you get a hold of onto it, like this. Look out, and it does that. So go like this, and then this, and I'm doing that. Go up pretty fast, and it gives the wave, the Christmas season greetings wave that you'll see just right here. Thumb. A frosty. Corny can do very easy and very self working. Even kids can do it as well, too. And that right there is how you do the Magic Mary Frosty Brooch trick. Coming into our trick number three here on our season greetings. A Merry C C Christmas with Holly Tricks, Jolly Pranks, Gags, and Joyful Magic. And that is the Jolly Santa and Lindor magic trick. Here's what this one will look like for this. I'll greet you to our Season Greetings Tricks table. I'll see you right there. And my magic, I arrive right here. Right in front of you very guys. As it is, you can see here, I've got my, uh, my Lindor treat that you'll see just here. And I have 
this little Santa took out this watch. How's this done? I will show you right now. It's very simple. All you need is um, an ornament Santa, and you want to tape white tape over um, a magnet, a nice powerful magnet. So here you can get this, this in your crafter and you get it over like that. Okay, for the Lindor, it's not a Lindor. I'll show you why it is. It's actually a magnet ball, like you'll see right here. They're gonna place into a Lindor wrapper. Like this, and let's give it a twist. Just like that. Put it onto the table. Take your little Santa here. Make sure you get a good stick there. We gotta just re stick this again. There we go. There. All you gotta do is you just uh, go over your uh, Lindor tree, and you end up doing this. And have it come up to, up to, to the uh, Santa. Cool, what you could do, we're at the table. It involves a little Saint Nick and of the Lindor treat that you'll see just right here. And that right there is how you do the Jolly Santa and Lindor magic trick. Coming into our Holly number four. And that is the Mitted jo Jolly Christmas Penguin Trick. Here's what this Christmas Penguin will Christmas like. You see my little Mitted Penguin here? Let's use this little thing here. going to actually make it get some legs. And by magic, it sprouts legs and the mitts. Where did they go? The king of his feet. So how's this done? As it is, I'm about to reveal the secret. All you'll need is this little penguin here with this Santa hat. And the little feet here look like mitts. And because these legs are made on a string, the dude's gonna put them up closest to the um, little arms of the penguin, just like this, and hold. That way it looks like mitts on the penguin. What I just want to do is take the little ornament tassel here and pull up. And by magic, the mitts turn into the feet onto the legs of the penguin. A really cool trick you could do for the Christmas time for season greetings. And that right there is how you do the mitted jolly Christmas penguin trick. Coming into our trick number five. Here on our third installment. And again, thank you guys so much for watching our installments one and installments two. Now, here is the trick title to you right now. And that is the Christmas Holly in the Hand Trick Egg. Here's what this will look like. Some of the Holly. So, I'm getting the Holly to do this. I was just talking and look at the holly now! It's more than active than ever, full of the Christmas spirit. How is this done? As it is, I'm about to reveal the secret. All you'll need is this flashing watch of green. As you see here, as you talk, it will become green. You're gonna take this holly that you'll see here, and the ring here, you'll put it into your fingers just like this, and pull this over like that. You can, you can talk or snap your fingers. Because the green is so powerful that it'll come right through the, the holly leaves. Like that. Talk, and it also will um, illuminate the holly in the palm of your hand. In the light, I'll show you. Like this. It kind of dances on the little leaves there. I really cool you could do. Or Christmas because it involves the Christmas holly that you'll see just here flashing green and that's how you get them hollies to turn green 
And that right there is how you do the Christmas holly in the hand trick gag. Coming into our sixth one, that is the season gr greetings funny bow prank gag. Here is the performance of what this funny bow will look like. Can you see here? I got my um, bow right here. Watch this. Okay, I never knew uh, bows could actually do that. <laughs> so how to guess with this is, is I'm about to reveal the secret. All you need is a gift bow, a green gift bow, red, or any color gift bow will do. Then you'll need this. It's a little syringe we're going to do is going to draw this up with some green food coloring in the water. So it gets your food coloring. And you'll see this. That's all that, uh, that's all that you'll, you'll need for that one. What I do here is I'm going to actually um, dress this into the little coil parts of the bow. Just like this. So here is what's gonna come out as you press this. Like that. What you wanna do is gonna hide this. If it kind of accidentally shows a little bit, you can easily spread it down very quickly. That way you can probably they might think that uh that your little boats here kind of flashed a little bit. But that's okay. Because what we're going to do is we're going to actually use a hand, come over, and give them a surprise by going like this. Give them a green squirt that will definitely surpri surprise them and get them off guard with the funny bow. Come on, what we could do this involves the Christmas bow. It's a very s simple one. But I definitely will make a great prank gag that you could do and pull off this Christmas. And that right there is how you do the season greetings funny bow prank gag. Coming down to our seventh number here in our installment th three and again. Thank you all so much for watching our first and second installment. Coming up after this, we got our fourth one coming up. Now here is a trick which I like to call the magic finger balancing jolly cane magic trick. Here's what this jolly cane will balance like. Do you see I got my little drop my little jolly cane here? And it's actually just hold it like this. Watch very carefully. And by magic, it balances on the tip of my Finger. So how to get this Sonic King to that as is I'm about to reveal the secret. Okay, so all you need for this is some white paper, and you're going to use is a um, a red and green felt marker to get in the lines of the cane that you'll see just here. You have to make it balance. I'll show you. What you'll be, be, be needing to make it balance. Get a little jiggle, and I'm going to take out what is making it balance. And that is, we're going to see Kung Kung out of the cane. It is a coin. To take it out. But what you want to do is you're going to tape it really good so it doesn't accidentally fall out. But here is the showing you of the little um, coin you're going to place on the inside. That's going to allow it to balance onto the tip of your finger. It's kind of like the magic trick that you do with a bill. But except for being Christmas, the candy cane in this one. The trick is very simple. All you got to do is you put this onto the tip of your finger and you end up doing this. From here, you can do it on your on your no, on your pointer or on your, your middle finger like that. And by magic, mysteriously balancing 
the candy cane on the tip of your finger that you'll see just here. Come on, you could do for the entire family. And that right there is how you do the magic finger balancing jolly cane. Magic trick. Coming into our eighth one. That is the joyful peppermint stick bar mystery trick. Here's what this one will look like for this. I'll get you back to our season greetings tricks table for this one. See, I got this here. Watch this again. Actually, just bash onto the table. And by magic, it gives me candy canes. So how it is, I'll show you right now. All you need is the uh, peppermint uh, sticks bar that you'll see just here. It even has Frosty onto it, holding the cane of it all. What you'll need is just um, three, four, five, five candy canes. What I want to do is go to hold this uh, palm it into your hand, just like this. And use this bar as a covering in behind it like this. Gonna actually is bash this down. Make sure you have the other hand here for a nice naturalistic look. Bash it down and expel the canes like this. And by magic, getting candy canes from the peppermint stick bar that you'll see just right here. And that right there is how you do the Joyful Peppermint Stick Bar Mystery Trick. Coming into our ninth one, and that is the Magic Bow Making jo Jolly Sock Magic Trick. Here's what this one will jolly like. So here I got my little uh, stocking here, and I got my ribbon. I'm going to just place this in the inside of the stocking, just like this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go into the stocking here, like this. I'm going to actually go in and look. It makes this. So how do I do this? I'll show you right now. All you'll need is a stocking, a small stocking, a bow, or the first two. Next you'll need is a magician's thumb tip. And what you'll need next is ri um, a, a ribbon the same as the bow that you'll see just here. What you want to do, do is going to preload this into your little stocking. Okay, you'll see stocking just like this. Then you're going to place your thumb tip and place it into the stocking just like this and hide like this. All you have left is the stocking and the ribbon. What you want to do is pass the ribbon around for inspection, place the ribbon into your thumb tip, into the stocking, just like this. And then let's go like this, push it down all the way, and take it out. Hand empty. Go into your little stocking here, and by magic it makes bow tie from the Christmas stocking that you'll see just here. And that right there is how you do the magic bow making jolly sock magic trick. Making our way down to our tenth trick here in our third installment and that is the Santa on the North Loo prank egg. Here is a performance of what this will look like. Ah, oh, dude! I wonder if he's finished his business yet. <laughs> Santa! Jeez! I wonder if he's done. <laughs> he has so much paper stuck there is. Rear. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we went on. This is done. It's a very funny one. I'm gonna teach you this done right now. 
All you need is a center ornament. This is actually tough if I can get into your washroom. And let's give it a little color and tape it onto the bottom. Then you'll need another ornament that has a ball on the inside. I'm going to put a ball on the inside. It has a little bowl that you'll see just right here. This is meant for a candle. But it makes great for a clever prank gig like this one. You're going to place this on like this and have it resting on here. What I want to do is you could do some sound effects like, um, like sounds like this. Let's get right get this on. Like, make sure it balances. Like he's sitting on the North Loo. Come on, little Santa. Balance for me, please. Doesn't want to sit back on there again. I'll get, I'll get him to. There we go. Okay, so gonna just do so some fake, fake little farts. <laughs> like, so it's just something like that, but just hide your mouth as you're doing that. Like, <clears throat> I'm playing and act completely sucked. Dude! I think I'm almost done. After you do that and just pick up the little Santa, and you get a little surprise right here. A clever little prank gag that you could do that will, will definitely bring the North joke within this one. Clever one, and it makes a perfect one you could do for the entire family. And this one here will definitely get them cracking up with this one. <gasps> Make sure that you laugh with it. That way you can get everyone laughing with that one, having a great time with that. Incredible, a prank gag joke that will definitely make them feel um, humorous with that one. We could want to go have some fun with it and crack someone up today with the Santa on the North Loo prank gag. And that right there is how you do the Santa on the North Loo prank gag. Looking way down to our 11th one, that is the pulling tree reindeer sleigh trick prank gag. Here is the reindeer sleigh to you, sling your way right now. For this, we'll be on our tricks table. Hey, it's Rudolph the Reynolds reindeer. Can just see this, 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 just take this here. I'm gonna actually see what this can do. Watch and see. What this can do. I hold this down. Hey, this pulled the uh, Christmas tree. I'll bring it even closer. Watch this. Wow. Even Rudolph wants to set the Christmas tree this year. How's this done? I will show you. Right now, all you'll need is a craft tree, and a sleigh happens to be um, a kid's toy. You pull this; it has a motor that will uh, shake, and this will get drawn back like this. Here, like this hold, and it does that. I'll come up, up even closer. Watch the tree as it connects to the sleigh. So you go like this, pull the tree like this, throw it across the table, and you hold the sleigh. And by magic, the sleigh brings the tree forward right to it. And that's how a reindeers with sleighs start moving Christmas trees. Very 
easy, very self-working, but makes for the greatest, um, prank gag that you could do and pull off this Christmas and impressing your friends and family over the, the table or the table in the living room. Make sure you get a good stretch of the table. And you can also do it on the floor as well too. Um, wherever this, wherever they're sitting at, very easy. Even kids can do it too. So all you need are these things that you'll see just right here. The tree and Rudolph on the sleigh. Now in there will definitely impress Santa Claus. Knowing that Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer took home a Christmas tree. And that right there is how you do the pulling tree reindeer sleigh trick prank gag. Coming into our twelfth one, that is the disintegrating Santa c cookie tin. Trick prank. Here is the performance of what this one will look like. We always know all that you know, just absolutely love c Christmas and cookies and Christmas baking. As it is, what's this? This must be half lots of cookies in the inside. I wonder if you actually snap my fingers. The great, great smack um, jingle off that one. Let's see. And take the, the a lid off and take out the take out a cookie. Oh jeez. And it's disintegrated into dust. It was little cookies. Oh I think someone needs to make some more Christmas cookies. I gotcha. Even pranked. How is this one done? As it is, I'm about to reveal the secret. Here's what you're gonna need to make this happen. But this you'll need is an empty cookie tin. A Santa cookie tin. What I wanna do is it not gonna put cookies into it? Again, make believe that there's cookies in the inside without playing on it. What you'll need for this is, like say, cinnamon or or, or ginger um, powder in the inside, like this. So here, I got mine in my little bowl. You'll see just here. So here's the uh, ginger. You see just here. Here, I'm gonna do is gonna preload that with this in the inside of it, like this. Get it all in, and you're good to go. You're going to take your lid and place on top of the cookie tin, just like this. And set somewhere where you'll probably see a cookie tin or up on something, like on this hot chocolate thing that you'll see just right here. Set up just right here. And everyone, just take a little look, a, a look at it. You're going to um, come up to it when they're in the kitchen. You're going to say, hey, mom. Yeah, hey, everyone. You want to see something pretty amazing? You're like, Yes, you don't want to. Like, okay. Well, as it is here, you can see you've got this cookie, cookie uh, tin, tin here. It's, it's, a, it's full of my mom's um, Christmas baking cookies. My favorite. And you're going to play on it. Like, okay, if this is a pretty, this is a pr pretty a full one. Loads of cookies. Who wants one? Make sure you say that. Who wants one? You're going to say, Yes, please. You before you even open it, you're gonna actually snap your fingers. Get that magic in there. They won't even know until you open it. And you're gonna hand it, hand it to them. You're gonna say here. 
and all they get is cookie disintegration and only what's left is the powder. Watch right, so the faces just drop. How was that? How did that happen? Then you gotta say after the trick has been done, you've been pranked. After the prank has been, been pulled, go off into the fridge, wherever the cookies are, and give them a Christmas treat. A Christmas cookie. Come on, you can do? Well, just two things. Um, any, spi any spice will do for, for the cookie and the cookie tin. So only two things are involved in making this one of a kind prank. And that right there is how you do the disintegrating Santa cookie tin trick. Prank. Coming down to our 13th one, and that is the season greeting blowhorn trick prank gag. Here's a performance of what that one will look like. Okay, three, two, one, happy season greetings. Oh, it's that? Right? <laughs> so how is this done? This is about to reveal the secret. All you'll need is a punch cone. Have one party horn for the last uh, New Year's that you have there. Find the red one. Makes it nice and jolly. And what you're going to do is you're going to find um, a bow that has this hole, you're going to actually peel it in with this. Just like this. Now if it pops and flies, great. If not, that's okay too. The, 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 the uh, tipping over works good as, uh, as well. Make sure that the horn part is cut. Like this. That way you can use the lever, they see here. What you want to do is you're going to string this in just like this. It's very easy to preload this punch cone in just like that. Make sure it clicks. And you get to go. So it looks just like this. Going to do is you're going to actually place this in to the horn just like this. Make sure the lever is just right here. Make sure the ball is nicely hidden and held like this. Hold this down and pull this down like this. That way, as you send the greetings. You'll get that coming out, or the tip of that also works too. They'll be really stunned to see it um, t um, tip to one side, let alone shooting and darting right towards them. One last time for Good St. Nick. There you go. Just like that. Cool you could do. For season greetings and of Christmas. So any style works. The the tipping of it works too, and or again the shooting out, darting towards them works as well too. That would they would definitely crack some up with the season greetings. Uh, uh, blowhorn. And now right there is how you do the season greeting. Blowhorn trick prank gag. Coming into our 14th one, and that is the stretched frosty hat gift card magic trick. Here's what, what this one will look like. Look, watch this, because just to take this, watch this. And I stretch it. How's this done? I'll show you right now. All you need is a frosty card that has long, tall hat. All you'll need is this. You have your ribbon. Get the gold to match up 
to the hat. Make sure that you actually make it nice and flush with the card like this. So you get the, the right part of the card with the ribbon. Make sure that, that this is close to where these are because so the gold. You know, hold this down and sew it like this. Put your hand over it like this and just draw upward. Stretch and stretched the frosty hat that you'll see just right here. This is into your hand, drop this into your lap, or a quick ditch into your pocket. Cool gift card you can do and pull off for the Christmas time. It involves frosty and of the frosty hat. And that right there is how you do the, the stretched frosty hat gift card magic trick. Now for our 15th one, and that is the color changing canes in the Lindor bag. Magic trick. Here's what this one will look like. Okay, so you can see my little Lindor bag. Went my way up to the tricks table here. You can see all these candy canes right here. But first, I want you guys to take a look. There is nothing in the bag. Okay, I'm gonna place all these little candy canes that you can see here in the inside of it. Just like this. Get all of them in. Just like that. Okay, one last look. They're inside there. Again, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up the peg again and give them a tip. Get them all down again. that. It's all changed into that. Get it again. And more comes out. So how to do this? I'll show you right now. All you'll need is a Lindor bag, card, and the inside too, and taped. What you'll need is different kinds of, of sugar canes that you'll see just right here. We get the uh, your original red, and you get the uh, the multicolor ones that you see just here. What I just want to do is going to preload the color ones in first, just like this, into one part of the Lindor bag, like you see me doing just right here. Gonna hold this like this to show the empty look. Just like that. So here is where the R, you're gonna hold it just like this. After having it to stand up. Like this. So so empty. So the um canes are gonna change into that you see just right here. Make sure you get an, an equal amount. Oh, the last one there. Make sure you get an equal amount of canes to fit into that Lindor bag. Okay, so what we're gonna do is the dude's gonna now is load the canes in the inside of the bag just like this. Make sure you get all of them in. And you're good to go. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go like this, drop this down, like this. Turn around and give it a shake. A brisk shake. And by magic, they turn into a different color from the Lindor bag that you'll see just here. And that right there is how you do the color changing canes in the Lindor bag magic trick. Now for our last one, and our 16th one, and that is the Christmas gingerbread man 
trip prank. Here is the performance of what this one will look like. Got my ginger burp 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 right here. Got my cup. Watch. Let me get milk from it. I'll show you this is done right now. All you'll need is a mug. Um, this is man. What's gonna do is dude's gonna preload milk into this. Get a cup that's nice and festive, like a frosty cup, make sure it's nice and clear. Took it's very simple, because all I gotta do is you just dump it in like this while holding on to the cookie like this. Holding this closest to you. Like that. What they get to see is this. So you hold the cup, and then you just do this. And by magic, dumping milk from a gingerbread man. Cheers to that one. And they go, all oh, 16 tricks that you could do for season greetings and for Christmas. Coming up, stay tuned because we got our fourth installment coming very soon. This is me, it's really your tricks are host. Ray Snabo. I'll see you soon. So for now, I'll see you with a few shakes of Magic Bells.